What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and Finley and I are here at this campsite and we're going to be camping for the first time together, me and my dog. So that should be interesting, sleeping in a tent with Finley. Um, I'm actually at this ranch in central Florida right now. I just heard a cow. I know they have a bunch of farm animals over there somewhere. I don't know if you guys can hear that cow, but I just got to my, my campsite here, which I'm super excited. It just feels good to be breathing some fresh air. So, oh, hello. <laughs> I parked over there. I'm unpacking my truck. I have my tent. I have some essentials. <laughs> we got some protein Redcon muffins, some honey, uh, stuff to cook later. We got a couple chairs. We have a fire pit, which I do have some wood in my truck. So I'm super excited. So we're gonna go ahead and get started setting up camp. We're actually gonna get the fire started first just because the mosquitoes are quite bad right now and it's only about three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I forgot bug spray. <laughs> I did bring a thermosel though, but I figured I could smoke out some of these mosquitoes while we're setting up camp. Hey, they already got some starter in here for us. I just have some fatwood fire starter. This stuff is legit. It catches on fire really, really nice. There's already some pieces in there. I'm cheating, using the easy way. Got some matches. These mosquitoes are crazy out here right now. These long matches are like the best, I swear. See, I can just set that right in there, let it do its thing. has been the easiest tent I've ever set up. Thank you, mom. Mom actually bought that tent on Amazon a couple months back and she hasn't used it yet. So it you guys just watch me. It, it took me about five minutes to set that tent up. Now we just gotta stake it down, put the roof on and the doormat. Alright, so the tent is set up. There is these little rope things, which I think can help tie it down, but, oh, but Finley, nah. hey, not over here. Um, but it's like, there's two windows and two doors, but this is a pretty big tent. I wanna show you guys the inside of it real quick. Hopefully, <laughs> Finley, you're not allowed in here yet. Super spacious. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can almost stand up in this. So that is gonna be so cool. I'm super excited. It shouldn't rain tonight at all. There's no rain on the forecast and there's no clouds. It's just a little breezy. So I did stake the tent down 
and yeah we are looking good what you thinking finn finley why do i feel like there's gonna be so much dirt inside that tent oh boy what is this what the heck oh it's like a pipe i don't know so i ran into i want to say one of the owners his name's james and he said that people have actually found arrowheads on this property so that's pretty cool we might go for a little walk later there's a couple trails um, up this way after we set up camp um, but right now i'm gonna go ahead and get the table situated and i want to say thank you for anchor for sponsoring today's video the anchor solix c1000 is the fastest charging 1k watt portable power station there is it's safe for charging all of your devices this one, as you can see, is 100% charged. I charged it right before this camping trip. Therefore, I can make my protein smoothie, mm. charge my GoPro batteries, so I can actually film this video. I can plug in a fan if I get too hot out here because I kind of thought there was a cold front coming in Florida and it's like 82 degrees out right now. But hopefully tomorrow morning is gonna drop to the 60s. So I can put this in my tent since it's fully charged and plug my fan on in the tent because I'll have Finley in there with me too. One of the cool things about this Anchor Solix power system is that you can plug in multiple devices at once. So you could charge phones, charge GoPros, plug in a blender, plug in a coffee machine, which tomorrow morning you'll see me use my Nespresso machine that I brought here and I can only use that machine if I plug it into a powerhouse. So I'm super thankful that I have this camping, um, or I could say glamping because we actually have a big old box of power right here. This powerhouse is super fast at charging. So if you're like me and you're in a hurry to go everywhere and you're always last minute, while you're packing up the truck, you can go ahead and plug this into your wall at home and it will charge super fast. The Anchor Solex C1000 also has 600 watt solar panels that you can use to charge this powerhouse. So if you are out on the woods or on an island or in the middle of nowhere and you have no access to a plug into a power source to charge your powerhouse station, uh, you can use the energy from the sun, which is super cool. This power station is absolutely perfect for extended outdoor activities, long weekends or even a long week, depending on how many days you got off that you can spend outdoors. It has a durable and dual grip design to make it super easy to carry. So if you're traveling, moving it from out of your vehicle to a picnic table or to your tent, super easy to carry. I absolutely love the design and it's not too big and it's not too small. It's big enough to charge and to use multiple devices on it, but it's not too big to where you can't carry it. There's also an ambient light on top of the power station. That way, if you need to see during some nighttime activities, there is a light there as well, which works out perfect because I did forget a flashlight or a lantern. I just kind of planned on using my phone light, but since I have the powerhouse with me, I can utilize that light when the sun goes down. With Anchor Solex's five-year warranty and 10-year lifespan for everyday use, you can enjoy worry-free usage. Last but not least, there is a smart app that Anchor offers. You can download the app. You connect to your powerhouse via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. As you can see, I connected through Bluetooth and this way I can see my input and my output of my power station. I can see how much it's charged and it even gives you an estimated remaining time use, which mine says 10 days and nine hours. <laughs> So I just started camping, so I just started using it, obviously. Um, and you can also control the light on there as well. You can turn it on and off with your phone. So that is pretty sick. If you guys are interested in the Anchor Solix C1000, be sure to check the link in the description below this video for an exclusive discount. Now, I'm gonna get to cooking some tuna. Finny boy, you ready for some tuna? I'll tell you what, I need some salt water and a tan, real bad. All right, so get out of here, Aunt. I'll make this broccoli first, which is kind of cool because it's already washed and ready to use.
You gonna cuddle with me tonight? Oh, he hears it. There's a bee buzzing around. And he's like freaking out. Where is it? Hmm? Where is it? Finley. Finley, where's the squirrel? Finley. Finley. Hey. <laughs> where's the squirrel? Where's the squirrel? Where is he? He has officially learned the word squirrel. I have to say it like squirrel. <laughs> Finley, where's the squirrel? Where is it? Get over here. There is no squirrel. I am lying to you. Good boy. Oh, did you get the bee? I know. What is on your lip, you weirdo? Ew. Gross. You guys can see here, I have a nice chunk of bluefin tuna from a couple months ago when I was in San Diego. I did spearfish this tuna. If you guys haven't checked that video out, be sure to check it out. It's probably one of my favorite videos this year. I shot 191 pound bluefin tuna off of California and it was definitely top five most intense awesome things I've ever done. Vinley, you want a piece of that? I know you do. So I'm gonna go ahead and sear this tuna. I have some broccoli cooking right now, but I'm going to use some black pepper. I'm gonna cut a little piece off for Finley. That's Finley's piece. That way I don't coat it in black pepper. Yeah, cause you probably like black pepper, you weirdo. Some sesame seeds. You can use the white ones or the black sesame seeds. Something just dripped on my head. If I'm not mistaken, the white sesame seeds have been pitted and then the black ones haven't been pitted. Yeah, I don't know, whatever you wanna do with that information. Finley, you hungry? I do all the sides. I love sesame seeds. And that's really it. I'm gonna salt it when I'm done searing it. Add a little bit of ponzu sauce. I'm going to sear it in toasted sesame oil and a mixture of olive oil after the broccoli's done. And that should be good to go. Oh yeah, I gotta saute my rice too. Forgot about that. Sit. Finley loves him some fish. Good boy. Listen, don't have the farts later. We're sharing a tent tonight.
knife is not the sharpest. You already had your dinner. Here, you can have one more. Can you catch it though? Well, good boy. Good, good boy. This looks absolutely delicious. Gonna drizzle it with a little bit of ponzu sauce. Mm. Ponzu is like a citrus, kind of like a soy sauce, but not as strong, just with like a citrus background to it. Oh my gosh. That right there is so good. Mm. Thank you for your sacrifice, bluefin tuna. Just got done eating dinner. I have a little detox shot here. It's spirulina, spirulina, I can't, spirulina, spirulina, and kiwi fruit. It's a organic cold pressed probiotic juice shot. You want it? Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Go get your toy. Good boy. You don't want none of this, I promise you. Got him. All right, Finley, listen up. <clears throat> your bed is over there. That is your bed. This is mine. <laughs> no, sir. That is your bed. <laughs> You have both your blankets and this shark. Okay, so somebody sent me this like shark snuggy onesie thing. No idea who sent it to me. It just showed up at my house with no name, no nothing in it. So if you're watching this video and you sent me this shark snuggy, thank you. <laughs> Finley really likes it actually. <laughs> yeah, it's like a shark blanket you can get inside and you're like a shark. Finley, checking out the tent. Can you do not step on my pillow, please? Can you get back on your side? But yeah, I got my bag of clothes, toiletries, toilet paper, bringing this inside so I can hook up the fan. And that is my coffee maker for in the morning. I didn't want to leave it out because just in case it rains, which it's not going to rain, um, I didn't want to leave it out there. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Ben. You see this right now? Finley, what? <laughs> it's like they, it's like they know. Excuse me, sir. Come on. Off. 
my side. That's your bed right here. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Good boy. Good boy. Their little setup. Finley keeps trying to steal my bed, but the mosquitoes were so bad out there, so I have come inside the tent. I'm just writing down some notes right now of just some goals and good stuff for the brain. But yeah, I'm gonna go to bed at a decent time tonight. Finley's got his blanket. He likes to, like, suckle on blankets. I don't know why. It just makes him comfortable, but anyways. I'm gonna change into some pajamas, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Let's go get him. Maybe you get the squirrel. morning.
That's how you wash your face in the woods. <laughs> oh man. Good morning everyone <laughs> from the woods. Finley had his first successful night sleeping in the woods. Um, the owls did get to him. The owls started going off at like 8.30 at night and then they started going off at like 3 a.m. But man, because he's never heard an owl before, so he was just like, what the heck is that thing in the tree? So I did film a little bit. I think you can hear the owls in the background, but... It's okay, Finley. No, sir. No. It's okay, Finley. Oh my god, they're going nuts. <coughs> Finley, no. No, sir. Man, they were going off. It was so, so cool. But I just washed my face. I'm going to brush my teeth. And then I'm going to get this all cleaned up and make some coffee, but you can see the sun coming in through the trees right there. It's a beautiful morning. I think it's like 60, let's see, I think it's in like the high 60s right now, which is really nice for Florida. Let's see. So I'm in Mount Dora, Florida right now. Mount Dora. 68. Mm. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna get cleaned up and then we can make some coffee because I am can't wait to make coffee in the outdoors. <laughs> We gotta get our half and half out of the gator coolers. Let's see. Eggs, we'll make those. Good old half and half. And I think that's all I need right now. Turning it on. So I did use this powerhouse last night and I ran the fan all last night. So let's say 12 hours. And I think it's at like 50, 52%, 51% right now. Got my little capsule. I had to throw some foam out so it didn't overflow. Good job, Anchor. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I see you dragged my blanket out, Finley. Well, it's a good thing we're not staying here again tonight, so I guess you can have it. No, it is mine. <laughs> Finley loves his blankets, man. You go for a walk, Finley? You go for a walk? <laughs> Just walked through a cobweb or something. 
Um, so this just randomly came to my mind as I'm walking out here in nature with a cobweb stuck on my hand. Is if you're in a bad place, if you're in a rut, if you're depressed, if you're down, if you're burnt out, um, I mean, our lives nowadays are just insane, right? Like, we got to keep up with inflation. We got to keep up with kids, jobs. Both parents have to work to maintain a household nowadays. Like, like we are just so go, 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 go. And I mean, everyone gets, I think everyone gets that, you know, in that depressive state every now and then. And I do too. Do yourself a favor. We have so many outlets to escape. Get on one of them apps that you could book something, a little cabin, a little Airbnb, a little something in the woods, something in nature or salt water. Obviously salt water's my heart. Book one night. You can make the money up again. Finley, Finley, get the squirrel, get the squirrel. You don't even know where it is. Anyways, I promise you, it will help you. Just being outside, breathing in fresh air, getting out of the city, traffic, exhaust, like, oh, It's just so refreshing to wake up in crisp, real air. <laughs> you know, something funny is, is I try to really tone it down for YouTube. When I speak and when I like, when I go on tangents or stories, my brain will go in like 14 different directions. Like I will tell a story and then it will veer off to this way. And then I'm like, oh wait, what was it talking about? Go back to the story, go back this way. I'll just like ramble on and on. And a lot of times, and I, I've noticed a few other YouTubers do this too. Oh no, I think Finley just found the water. <laughs> what? Oh, did you go swimming this morning? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh no. Finley. <laughs> Dude. Just gonna deal with that later. Just gonna deal with it later. It's a good thing today because he ain't sleeping in the tent tonight. So he's getting a good bath when we get home. Anyways, see what I mean? Crossroad. Back to where I was talking about is a lot of times um, when I film, I'll just go on and on and on. And I'm like, start over. I got to redo, make it short, clean, simple, to the point. But this video is going to be a little more raw, a little more go with the flow. Not as much like having to like talk about information, if that makes any sense. I don't know. But yeah, just kind of you guys are here with me and slept in the woods with Finley for a night. He did pretty good first first night i mean i do like some sounds and stuff would like kind of get him a little anxious but where's the squirrel i see you found the pond back there so yesterday we were walking this and i did not go over there for that reason if there's water finley swimming this is kind of a little bit of a new thing that I'm starting. Uh, every, maybe every like four, five months, I'm gonna book a little place, a little cool place, maybe local, that I can drive to and get away for two nights. No filming, no phone. I mean, I'll take some pictures because I'm, I'm, I have to take pictures, but like no social media because as you guys know, my whole career, my whole life is YouTube and social media, which I'm very blessed for that. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love it. It's the one thing in the world besides shark diving that I know how to do professionally, right? For me, setting up cameras, getting angles, knowing I'm editing in my head as I film, that just comes natural to me. Like I just, I've been doing it for so long and I'm still getting better and I'm still improving and I'm still finding maybe easier, better ways to do things in the YouTube world. Um, but yes, you guys see me doing some insane cool things, but it, you get burnt out because you're traveling a lot and mentally, like 
you're filming you know what i mean so you got to talk to the camera you got to get these angles you got to get this shot you got to like all right well now we got to cook it like there's a lot that goes into youtube videos that a lot of people may not understand or may not really even realize you know a lot of people are like yo you live the life you know you just travel everywhere and do all these cool things and which is true i love it but there's a lot of work that goes into it and i do get burnt out i probably get like really burnt out probably about once a year so in a couple weeks i actually booked a little rv on the west coast of florida near like inglewood beach and i'm gonna go look for shark's teeth i'm gonna go eat at sharky's on the pier which is like this little restaurant there i'm gonna watch the sunset that's why i booked it on the west coast of florida and i'm just gonna not film not really get on social media just relax reboot that way when i come back I can go full throttle again. So that's just something that I'm adding into my life to improve it, to, you know, calm my nervous system down when I get into a rut of just like, I put too much on my plate sometimes, which is a good and bad thing. Oh, there's a bug in my, what is that? Got it. So anyways, that's just something I'm gonna do, start doing. And I think a lot of people overlook, you know, little getaways. Like, it was 30 bucks to come here. Pit Finley, really? Pitch this tent. I mean, obviously I drove here, so gas and stuff. But come on, man, that's cheap. So. And I'm about to make some breakfast. So I have some eggs. I did bring some turkey bacon as well, but I don't know if I'm gonna make that. I might cut up some zucchini. But yeah. Oh my gosh, Finley. Finley. Why? <laughs> I just let him do his thing, you know what I mean? He's happy. He's living his best life. I ain't got no need for that blanket anymore. So he can get it dirty. I'll wash it. Ain't no big deal. Ain't no big deal. Mm. So I actually always keep this knife in my truck. It's just like a wild game cleaning knife. But I'm gonna cut my bacon in half, that way it's easier to cook this little pan. Finley's gonna be excited for some turkey bacon. <laughs> so, pro tip with camping with Finley. Don't leave your tent open because he will drag everything out of it. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of like a neat freak. My hand sanitizer has been like my washing of my hands in a way. It's pretty tricky to flip bacon with a knife.
this one's gonna break. Oh, no, I didn't. Solid, solid work. Finley, you want some breakfast? You want an egg? You can have two eggs. Well, I just pulled this tick off of Finley's head. Luckily it was not embedded, it was just sitting on top of his fur. Oof. Burn. Burn. Well, while Finley's eggs are cooking, this is my breakfast. Super simple. So good. And lately I've been adding a lot of like vegetables to my breakfast because I feel like, especially in America, our diets like for breakfast is like pancakes, waffles, eggs, bacon, sausage. I've been doing eggs with like zucchini, eggs with sweet potato, just like really just mixing it up a little bit. Who has pans? Hot, Finley. Turn that off. You have turkey bacon too, Finn. Just a little bit though. Just a wee bit. It's literally like having a two-year-old. I'm sitting here picking his food apart, making it in bite-sized pieces. You ready for breakfast? I guess a second breakfast. I did feed him this morning. Might be a little hot. Here you go. <laughs> he literally wants the plate. So it's 9.38 right now. I'm gonna finish eating breakfast, clean all this stuff up, get back on the road. Um, I'm about two and a half hours north from where I live. I gotta edit this video, get everything in order because I'm flying out to Mexico. Five days, four days, four or five days, five days. I'll be with my friend CJ, as you guys know from Costa Rica and San Diego and a couple of their friends as well. We're gonna be on a liveaboard boat in Magdalena Bay, Mexico, where we're gonna be spearfishing for three days straight, uh, cooking on the boat. He has a professional chef on the boat, so that's super awesome. I'm super excited to eat some fresh fish and to be back in the ocean. So stay tuned for those videos as well in Mexico. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know this was like a way, like maybe slower paced video than what, I'm, what I normally film and edit. I'm just kind of experimenting with different things. So I'm going to start doing a lot more camping on my channel. Maybe camping and then just like fishing and all kinds of stuff. I'm actually in the works of buying a camper right now. A 19 foot escape. I can tow it with my truck. Uh, super simple. There's like two beds, a table, a fridge, sink, counter. Like it's like perfect for like a starter camper. And it's really all you need. So. I mean, I'm just gonna be sleeping in it and maybe making some coffee and that's about it. So I'm super excited for that. <coughs> Finley, excuse me, sir. I'm ending the video. <laughs> All right. But thanks for watching guys. Be sure to leave a positive comment below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next video. See ya.